welcome to another episode of Mopar Tom's Garage and today I'm pulling out the K-frame and front end out of my 71 VG Valiant 2 door. The torsion bars are still in because I don't know how to remove them whilst the K-frame is still attached. The clips have been removed from the back, the third clips. I can't slide them back. The um, car's currently on stands and only three of them are actually supporting weight so I don't want to be underneath there trying to wiggle it back. If I had some um, what's it called vice grips I could put around there and, and hammer them out backwards but I'm just going to drop the K-frame and pull the K-frame off that way and then pull the torsion bars out last us around doing it but it's worked once for me. <coughs> this is the second time pulling the K-frame off a car. So, there you go. So, just pull them out. This one here is already out a little bit. Questioning if that's why it's only being supported on three out of the four jack stands, but... There's the diff I removed from, from it already. This is a early model, so it's the same stud pattern as the American um, early Barracudas and Signets and Darts and stuff like that. I've upgraded it to the later model disbra um, later model drums with a um, four inch stud separation. I think it's um, 5 by 114 I think that's what they call it. I have to clean the threads up on, on these still. I've misplaced. There's another bracket that goes over here with two bushings. I've currently misplaced it and think it might be in the bottom of that blue trailer. So just going to clean these threads up and do it up without that bracket. Um... Not really a big deal for having it on there, just as a roller kind of thing. Later on I'll change it, but this is just a quick video. Just a bit of, bit of an update. Going to be painting the inner wheel wells and underneath the car. With this stuff here. Got the, the gun there for it. I have to read the destruction manual and find out how many PSI and get the under of the car protected. But yeah, that's a quick update. And um, yeah, progress on the VG770 Mexicana tribute. Clone, fake, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, I like the I like this roof line. There's standard dart. Brazilian charger slash Australian Mexicana. It's much nicer. Kind of gives it the Charger, 68 Charger style kind of thing. And um, with a long rear end, it does suit. I've seen some um, Mexican darts with the same roof extension, but that's the later model with the shorter rear end. And yeah, not a fan of that. Looks like one of those stubby cars that people sometimes did in the 70s where they sectioned the whole car and made it stumpy. Anyway, thanks for watching, and um, yeah, some progress. <laughs>